Good afternoon everybody, Wes Davies here. Welcome back to another classic Kaohsiung video. In this video, I wanna take you to my top favorite, I would say hole in the wall restaurants. These are restaurants that I know about, but maybe are off the beaten path a little bit. So restaurants that maybe you've never been before, maybe you've never even heard of before, but I happen to know that these are some of the best, most top choice restaurants in the city. And we are starting today with one of my absolute favorite hole in the wall restaurants. This one is called Chongqing Xiaomian and you will see exactly what I'm talking about when we step inside. There are only four varieties of noodles, two beef, one vegetarian and one chicken and trust me these are some of the best noodles in the entire city. It's got that signature Chongqing or Sichuan red spicy flavor. Let's go inside and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we've come inside to the first place. This is Chongqing Xiaomian. And this has always been one of my favorite spicy noodle restaurants in Kaohsiung. It used to be a different location. As soon as they moved, it took me a couple years to find it again because I didn't actually know the name. But as you can see, this place is one of the best spicy noodle restaurants you can find here in Kaohsiung. The noodles are nice, thick, and bouncy. And see the way they just absorb that delicious red spicy sauce. This version is the beef rib. So you've got all these huge chunks of tender beef right inside. Tons of greens, cilantro, green onions, and just the Sichuan smell coming off that is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna start with one of these chunky pieces of beef there. And that is just so tender. Nice and fatty piece of beef, and it really absorbs all of that delicious Chongqing or Sichuan spicy peppers that they've infused into this dish. Could be spicier actually, but it just kind of coats your mouth with that Sichuan numbing pepper. But then you also have all these shao tsai, so this is niu du, which is beef stomach. That looks pretty good. Just gonna go ahead and dip that in the spicy sauce there. Nice and chewy, delicious niu du. Wash it down with a little bit of fresh cucumber, some mu er, which is that wood ear mushroom. And then for those inclined, you also have this pretty awesome do pi, which is tofu skin. All this is just a little bit refreshing as you're eating these delicious spicy noodles. And if Sichuan spicy noodles are your thing, you can't miss Chuan Yu Mian Mian Guan. The ladies there are actually from China and they serve a wide variety of spicy dishes including a super hot beef noodle soup, red oil wontons, a delicious cold beef tripe liangmian noodles, a classic Chongqing pork noodle dish, and a very intriguing spicy red oil tofu dish, which I had never heard of before. All are very delicious and will satisfy any spicy food lover. Next, we head over to Wanli Mian, a tiny noodle restaurant, which you'll miss if you blink while driving past. This one serves, again, lots of noodles and various small side dishes, some of which I had never tried before. You're gonna wanna go for the Red Lion Meatball Noodles, my personal favorite. This dish comes with, quite frankly, a ridiculous pork meatball, plus lots of nice vegetables. The meatball has a sweet, almost cinnamon flavor to it, and it is massive. I usually end up breaking it up with my chopsticks and stirring it in with all of those handmade noodles. As always, you can choose to add more chili peppers to the dish to suit your taste. My girlfriend ordered the dry spicy chicken noodles, which comes with a good portion of shredded chicken and sliced cucumbers. As for the smaller dishes, I tried thousand year old egg tofu for the first time, and sesame oil matchstick potatoes. The staff at this restaurant are particularly friendly. Moving on, I found a tiny Korean all-you-can-eat hot pot and barbecue restaurant. If you're a meat lover, this one is for you. The prices are extremely reasonable and the atmosphere feels authentic. If you're not a Korean barbecue expert, not to worry, the servers will help you cook everything and make sure you don't burn the place down. The kimchi dishes are excellent, and the best part is wrapping everything up in your own personalized Korean lettuce tacos. The perfect Korean barbecue ball, beautifully created by my girlfriend. An honorable mention here for meat lovers goes to an American barbecue restaurant called Hotbox. 
The only reason it's not featured more fully in this video is because it's currently under renovation. I'll perhaps do a full video here when they open back up in August. If you're looking for more non-Taiwanese options, Brit Shake in Den Shui, run by British YouTuber Amy and her husband, offers a traditional fish and chips dish, a ridiculously good, authentic shepherd's pie, and lots of great drinks that you can't find anywhere else in Taiwan. In Kaohsiung, we have The Legends Bar and Grill, which is always updating their menu and has some of the best burgers and pizza in town. And then we have Dennis Indian Food, which serves up delicious and inexpensive Indian dishes, which are just about as authentic as it gets. Again, you can find more information about these places in the description box down below. All right, everybody, here we are at the very last place. And if you have been enjoying this video so far, Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. I would really appreciate that. So this place, not too far from where I live, I discovered it about a year ago and I instantly fell in love with several of the dishes here. So this place is called Minga Gu Zao Wei, which I think it means something like ancient flavors. And I really have to give a shout out to the decoration of the actual restaurant itself. You can see they have all these old antiques and these very interesting pictures and photos on the wall. And the place really does have kind of an ancient slash underrated slash hole in the wall restaurant feeling to it. I really love that about this place. Unfortunately today when I went into film, it was completely packed. So she recommended that I take the why die option takeaway. So that's why I'm here in my living room showing this to you guys. I've opened this and I've taken a few pictures, which you can see right here, but I can just smell that beautiful, beefy aroma coming off of this dish. So this steak is obviously a very, very high quality. And I just love mixing it around with that fresh, half boiled egg there. There's little pieces of kimchi, tons of green onions, and then this beautiful white rice. And as I said, the juices and the steak and the onions create this absolutely mesmerizing aroma. This is looking very, very good. So without further ado here, I'm going to take my first bite, make sure I get a bit of everything on that one. That looks amazing. Yeah, that rice is perfectly cooked and it really complements the almost salty taste of the beef in there. And then right at the end, you get that little sharp taste of the green onions and I can tell that egg has just been absorbed into the entire dish. That is super, super tasty. I love this dish so much. So next up we have beef soup. And this is maybe something that is more familiar to Tainan people. I know in Tainan they love their beef soup and the broth there is very, very aromatic, almost like ginger. It is smelling really nice in my apartment right now. Oh yeah, it's almost a medicinal ginger beefy broth. That is so, so good. And I'm gonna go for one of these pieces of beef. Yeah, that absolutely just melts in your mouth. That is so tender, so soft. And before I forget, I actually have a bottle of hot sauce that I wanted to test out on this meal today. So this one is called No Wimps Allowed. And if you're not familiar with the term wimp, it basically means someone who is afraid of everything. But if you're a hot sauce lover like I am, I think this is gonna be perfect on the beef today. Have I gone a bit crazy with this hot sauce? Usually, let's give that a try. Mm. Oh yeah, you do not wanna be messing around with that hot sauce. This is no wimps allowed, no kidding. And this is by Mary Sharps. They import all of these right from Belize. So make sure to go check out the website I will post it right down below if you are a hot sauce lover like me. And to cool everything down right at the end here, I've got some long shu tsai, which is the dragon beard vegetable. Nice and crunchy, green, healthy, and most importantly, very tasty. Yeah, again, that's just very simple. They've probably put a little bit of soy sauce. It tastes a little bit sweet, maybe some vinegar, something like that. But that is just going to be perfect for the end of your meal here especially if you've been eating a lot of hot sauce. This is really, really tasty, really delicious. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I wanted to ask you, what are some of your favorite undiscovered hole in the wall restaurants in whichever city you live? Maybe type the address down below, leave a comment, and I will be certain 
to go plug that into Google Maps and check out the pictures. I just love searching around for new restaurants. And with that, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the meal here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. All the information right down below. Mm -hmm.